dual universe exploring another planet. Found a looked like it was a level, but it may be underwater, so I came out here to study it and see. And here's a, where somebody's been carving to, to do some mining, and they've dug up a bunch of sand here. It looks like they carved a bridge out of the sand. It's very interesting. It appears that the water is like a foot deep here, so I can walk on this part of the sandbar without drowning. And you can see underneath there, there's some structures over there. I don't know if I should walk all the way underneath there and try to get to the other side because it looks like the water gets pretty deep on that side, so I'm going to get caught in that. I'll just go around this way. I put my marker, a waypoint, on the hex that is available, and on one side of it I noticed that all there was available was a little strip of beach, and the rest of the hex was underwater. So decided to go around the lake and now I've, I've almost gotten to the other end of going around the lake and I'm coming back up on the hex again and the lake's a lot bigger than I thought it went around several hexes and some people are actually building platforms out over the ocean or lake there to put their factories on so it's a very big lake now I'm trying to get back around to the other side where I originally started walking. And here I come across this place where somebody's dug a trench underneath this dune here. The sand is pretty stable in this area so it's not caving in on us. And it looks like they've built a lot of buildings along the edge of the lake right here. Let's peek over the top of this. Oh yeah, there they are. It's like a beach resort type of an area, I guess. We'll run a little faster here and see if we can get over to the X that's actually available. Oh, well, that's pretty. I like the way they put their building right next to the ocean or lake there. It makes it look like a resort hotel and they do have plenty of mining though so if I took one of these hexes I would be able to do some mining trouble is most of the land would be underwater so I have to see if they have any underwater diving bells or anything like that for us to go exploring under the water. I don't think I've seen any evidence of that yet in this game. It looks like they may have put a platform over a large portion of the lake over here. As you can see, my little marker is still another 1.86 kilometers away. They made a landing strip out of this platform they made. How about that. That's pretty nice. Kind of looks like an Area 51 or something. They've got some exotic spacecraft here out in the middle of the desert. Nice. Anytime you come along big constructs like this, the lag gets unbearable in this game. You can barely move. But the graphics look pretty good. If I could just get it to where it would respond better in these crowded areas, be nice. Well, now that I'm back on solid land, maybe I can sometime get to the hex that's available and see if this side of it over here is underwater or not. The other side was a beach that went out right into the water, so most of the hex was underwater on the other side. 
That's when I decided to walk around the lake. Now that I've gone around it, the lake was bigger than I thought it took me like two or three kilometers to the east of it. Alright, we're coming up on it. Looks like it's going to be down this hill. We're going to be getting back into the water again, maybe. But if we have any luck, we'll have some shoreline along the side. And that way, the uh, eggs will be mineable on both sides of the lake. Oh, uh, I don't know if there's any lay land inside the hex. Oh, there's the boundary out there in the, in the middle of the water. It's not looking good. This side of the hex appears to be underwater. I already tried to go around the uh, lake this way, and it extends way up. So this time I think I'll try to go around it this way. Let's go past that tall building over there.